And we're back! Uh, you're watching The Anarchist MMA and Miscellany on Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm your host, Jesse the Anarchist Elliot. Uh, no, your eyes do not deceive you. I am filming out of my car today. Uh, it's been a house full of kids all week and all this weekend, so it's hard to find a quiet place to film. Uh, and I'm working off of no sleep right now, so bear with me. This is going to get interesting. Uh, so if you didn't know already, there's no show last week because uh, I was competed in a jiu-jitsu tournament, a uh, grappling alliance on June 28th. Um, so it was it was my first uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu tournament. Uh, fortunately, I didn't finish so well you know inexperience and patience it's plain bad luck uh all combined and i went on five in my matches uh, five different divisions i was eliminated in the first round of uh, each tournament that i competed in uh there was three three times uh i got matched up in the first round against the eventual uh gold medalist for that division uh so that happened in the that happened in gi uh no gi and the no gi absolute divisions um so we started off with the takedown tournament uh that i mean i wasn't really that being basically a wrestling match uh i didn't expect to do well with that i'm not a wrestler um but so I did about as well as I expected. I got taken down four times in a row in about a minute and a half. Uh, so I lost to a tech fall. If it's uh, the rule is if you got behind by ten points or more, then it was considered a tech fall. Um, so I ended up losing uh, twelve to nothing in the uh, takedown tournament first round. So then comes the Nogi Absolute. Uh, shortly after that this is all sizes all experience levels all in one tournament and so after being shoveled shuffled around several times on my bracket uh, they put me against a guy named Brad Jepson uh, so this video I'm about to show you that should tell you all you need to know about the kind of luck I was having uh, how many breaks I was able to catch that Saturday afternoon. I ain't getting that big dude off of me. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, he lost it. You gotta get on your side, push your knee down. Push your knee, push your knee, go under. I'm just sitting there. He's going for the arm bar. Nope. You gotta roll, roll the other way. Roll, roll! You gotta roll into him. Roll into him. Roll. Gotta roll the other way. <laughs> yeah, so that guy had like probably 100 pounds on me. Um. Uh, actually, he was, I 
blue belt or a purple belt, uh, he ended up winning the division that he competed, the, uh, either the super heavyweight or the ultra heavyweight division. Um, so he won a gold medal in that. And he ended up going on to win that Nogi Absolute, uh, which that was the first round that you just saw there. So yeah, I lost to Armbar, and um, actually I lost twice to Armbar from Mount uh, the same day. Another time was in the Gi Absolute, uh, which was, and that was the, the last uh, division basically to take place. I did that after everything else was over. Um, so that was actually also one of my teammates that I lost that one. Uh, anyway, so it just so happens that the move of the week this week is the armbar from Mount. Um, Hannah Zachiri has sent me a video of her demonstrating the move of the week. So here we go. Hey, my name is Hannah Zachiri, and I'm going to be bringing you the move of the week this week. Uh, my husband and I are going to be demonstrating a mounted armbar. All right, this is my version of the mounted armbar. Um, there's several different ways you can do it, but um, I found this is to be pretty effective, and I have a lot of control of my opponent. Um, First off, I'm going to look to get a high mount, so I want to make sure my knees are as high up under my opponent's armpits as possible. I'm going to fish for whatever arm I'm looking to attack, and I'm going to cup it right at the bicep and make sure to pull it all the way across my opponent's body. At the same time, I'm going to make sure I have my hand posted on the ground. Um, so I can keep my balance and slide my knee up right into my opponent's ear. A really important thing to do next is I want to make sure to snatch the opposite arm so they can't use that to defend. And I'm going to shift my weight back all onto their rib cage as I slide my foot around. So you can see there's a lot of pressure on my opponent. From here, I'm going to take my leg, throw it over their head, and as I sit back, I want to make sure that my knees are nice and tight and I don't let go of the arm. Alright, it's very important to keep it close to my body, sit back, and if I've done it right, then I don't even need to have my back touching the ground. Again, I'm going to place my hands and try to get a high mount on the person. This is going to prevent them from bucking and rolling me over um, and having me lose my balance fish and find the arm that I want to attack and cup it at the bicep, pull it across my opponent's body, and make sure to have lots of pressure. From here I'm going to post my hand and slide my knee up into my opponent's ear. This makes them have a little bit more difficulty in trying to escape. Um, as you can see, while I slide my leg over, I make sure to cup the opposite arm and I'm going to shift my weight as I slide that leg. So there's a lot of pressure on my opponent's diaphragm, causing him to lose his breath. From here, just throw my leg over, pinch my knees together, and make sure that when I land, I'm holding on tight to the arm, and I'm just going to sit back and hyperextend right at the elbow, finishing the arm bar. Here it is one more time in full speed. And there you have it, move of the week. Uh, thanks to Hannah and Brandon for that. Um, so, by the way, Hannah's looking for a professional fight, guys. Uh, she wants to make her professional MMA debut later in the year. Uh, she went undefeated as an amateur and she actually won a tournament uh, a amateur tournament in Vegas a few months back and she's been sidelined because of an injury but uh, she's back in training and if you're a promoter in the Midwest area and you're looking for a
female professional fighter, uh, check her out, you know, and uh, you guys check out her Facebook page. I'll have that posted and everything. Uh, here we are, right here. Anyway, um, so I think <laughs> all these arm bars, I think uh, sometime we need to do a arm bar defense video for a move of the week. How to, uh, we've been showing you how to submit people, take people down, show some defenses, I guess. And you know, by the way, yeah, I know the last, the well, the first three move of the week videos have all been grappling moves. And that's not how I attend it. It's, it's not just supposed to be all grappling. Um, so, you know, there's any boxers, boxing coaches out there, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, whatever, you know. Somebody sent me a video of a boxing combo or kick or something like that. Some kind of stand-up technique. Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, so I want to, you know, I want pretty much every martial arts style and every phase of the fight game to be represented in these Move of the Week videos. Uh, not just be focused on one aspect of it. Um, so, send me your videos, guys. Uh, so, yeah, about that tournament, you know, um, Glory did end up making, taking, uh, first place as far as the teams went. They got 61 total medals, um, as a team, and Kansas City, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, KCBBJ, whatever, uh, they came in a really close second with 58 medals. You know, the tournament, uh, Grappling Alliance had a pretty big turnout. It was about 200 people, maybe more, uh, competing in it. Uh, so, yeah, I well, definitely I want to do another soon before the end of the year. Uh, definitely while I'm still a white belt. Um, as I was saying after it all, like, you know, I'm a fighter, not a grappler. Uh, you know, and I... Uh, I do plan on showing that on August 16th, whenever I face, uh, I get back in the cage against Nick Cruz, and I'm going to be looking to go 4-0 in my amateur career. But anyway, I, you know, even still, I, I still feel like I'm a better grappler than what I showed last weekend, last Saturday. Um... Yeah, I've got I've got two wins by submission, and actually three if you count the um, the grappling match I was in at whiskey. T I had a whiskey tango. I won that by armbar, like 18 seconds. Um, that was three years ago. Uh, so yeah, I definitely want to do another jujitsu tournament. Now I've got a taste of it, and I'm gonna look for some victories, maybe a medal. That's that's gonna be my next goal. I suppose. Uh, so, some news, uh, some announcements I was going to make. Uh, MMA news, other things. Um, so, in other news, uh, there was a big UFC event last night, UFC 175. Uh, Ronda Rousey and Chris Weidman both successfully defended their titles. Uh, Ronda... <laughs> Yeah, she totally dominated Alexis Davis. Uh, she won by TKO in only 16 seconds. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about that there. So I don't see anybody unseating Ronda anytime soon. Um, so, Chris Weedman and Leota Machida, they had a great back and forth fight. Uh, now, I personally, I wanted to see Machida win the title, start another title reign. Um, I'm a big fan of Machida's, but um, unfortunately for Machida and all all Machida fans out there, you know, you know, Weedman, yeah, I gotta give props to Weedman, he, uh, Weidman, I don't know how you say his name. Uh, yeah, I gotta give him props. He did everything he needed to do. Uh, he ended up winning a Yams decision. Um, so, Stefan, the skyscraper, Struve, was supposed to return to the Octagon after a lengthy absence of about 16 months. 
uh, due to a heart condition. Uh, he was to face Matt Mitrione, but the match never happened. Uh, so the reports I've heard have been mixed. Uh, he he fainted, or he almost fainted. He definitely collapsed back in the locker room. I uh, I guess after having some sort of a panic attack or something, and the battle ended up canceled because they didn't want to risk his health. So apparently he's not done with that heart condition. Um, I uh, hope you recover well, Stefan. You know, kind of fan of his too. Um, and Uriah Faber, he headlined the undercard portion. Uh, I didn't get to see the prelims, um, so I didn't. Yeah, I missed the prelims, so I didn't get to see this one. But he did defeat uh, Alex Caceres by we're gonna get choke in round three. Um. So that was all the news I had on that. Uh, so back to the Grappling Alliance tournament last week. So I ran into a fellow anarchist at the tournament. And he turned out to be the owner of Glory's Affiliate Gym, TR Fitness, uh, Team Respect Fitness. Uh, his name is Michael Morgan. He's down in, his gym is down in Mountain Grove, Missouri. Um, so that was pretty cool. We, had a brief discussion, you know, exchange Facebook information, all that stuff. Uh, so, hey, uh, Michael, you and you guys are welcome on my show anytime, buddy. Um, also, so I haven't, we haven't worked out the, completely worked out the details yet, but it looks like I got my first sponsor. Um, it's a clothing company called Among Saints Clothing. Uh, Among Saints is a rock and roll MMA and heavy metal apparel company founded by musician and artist Jesse Saint. Uh, so, Facebook.com slash Among Saints Clothing. Just all one word. Uh, what else? I'm just going to try every angle since I can't find one that I like. Um, so, also... Uh, Brad Spangler has very, very recently started a movement called Free Kansas City, um, and he's invited me to be a part of it and to help run the Facebook page and everything. Um, so, from the description on the Facebook page, uh, Free Kansas City advocates a peaceful, prosperous, and stateless society. We seek to make the Kansas City metro area a leading example of a free community. We will, one, conduct promotional slash educational programs on anarchism in and for the Kansas City area. Two, encourage radical libertarian slash anarchist activists to consider Kansas City as a moving destination where they will be able to connect with like-minded people for activism mutual aid, and fellowship, as well as three, provide support and orientation for movers, such as assistance with finding housing and employment. Uh, so, you know, I'm really, I'm kind of excited, you know, to see what we can accomplish with this movement. Uh, you know, it was... It's only been very recently that I've started uh, reaching out to other anarchists uh, in my area, and I'm really glad I did. Um, you know, I and with this, you know, this would be just something else to help me uh, keep networking with, and you know, meet new anarchists in the Kansas City area, and you know, other near my parts of the Midwest. Uh, something I really look forward to. Um, you know, so, though we're, we're all individuals, um, we, we're all individuals and individualists, uh, you know, we're still, we're in this thing together, uh, there's one struggle with one goal, uh, and once the state, you know, once we get that out of the way, that out of our ways, you know, we can each meet, you know, other worthwhile goals of our own. Worthwhile goals of our own. 
Um, so yeah, I think I have anything else tonight, so I guess so. Uh, that wraps up uh, this episode. Uh, it's a little shorter than usual, yes. Um, but the last two have actually been a little bit longer than I intended. Um, so, actually, I guess I'll, uh, I'll end this with uh, another video from the tournament. You can watch me uh, get put on my back several times in the uh, takedown tournament. I suppose. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Jesse Elliott, and I'll see you next week on Voluntary Virtues Network. Good night, and enjoy the video. Hey, one line, guys. One line, trap down. Okay, I'm all right. Hey, don't feed it on the takedown. Let's go, baby! Come on! Be aggressive! Oh, oh three-point takedown. Here we go, let's go! Scroll hard! Stay low! Stay low, Jesse! Stay lower than him! Center of gravity here! Scroll! Underhooks! Underhooks! Here we go, come on! Be aggressive! Shoot, shoot! Get up, get up, get up, get up! That's mine. Take it, take it, take it, guys. One more takedown, it's a tech, okay? Nope. Takedown matches are one, three minute round. Here we go, here we go. Running clock. Do not stop the clock. You got time, baby. Stay low.